Fuck, more super immunes. I'm gonna have to save here again. Um, let's uh, let's eat some mo rat meat. I'll bring us up some. There's really no way to get like health without radiation right now, other than stem packing. But I don't want to waste them. There's Rivet City right there. Yeah, I'll just sneak past this. But nope, that didn't work. Oh, he's got a hunting rifle. I gotta pray that he misses. That's a minigun, I think. Or an assault rifle. A minigun. No! Just keep running, just keep running. Welcome to Rivet City. Oh. We made it. So this is, <laughs> to put it into perspective, this is where we started. And we ran all the way down here. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know him. I'm sure you don't know. I'm sure you don't know him. He's lived in the vault his whole life. Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You keep up this smart ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. Why does it matter? He's, just, uh, he's disappearing, I'm just trying to find him, that's all. All right, all right. You can go on in. If I hear about any trouble, you're gonna wind up in the river. You get me? Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is the stairwell. This is Rivet City Market. Is there a problem? Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Why are vault dwellers so rare to come by? Because, um, I mean, all the vault dwellers are in vaults. <laughs> I mean, most vault dwellers don't leave their vaults. Or, vault, uh, to be a dweller, you have to have left your vault. Now, you had to have left your vault to be a vault dweller, but vault people aren't common in the wasteland because they're stuck in vaults. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here it is, right there. Um... Shit, yeah, dude. 10 intelligence before level 3. Did it. Well, we started in the vault. We lived in the vault at the start of the game, and now we're out of the vault. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. Now I can put some clothes on. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Bro, why did you yoink everyone's vault aside. suit so I could sell them? I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, Commonwealth, that's, maybe that's you can help four. us. Hmm? But no, that never <laughs> even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness <laughs> somewhere else. Fine. But I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her Dr. Lee's right there. And talk real science. Suit yourself. Hey there. 
Hmm. Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? You there! What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? That depends what exactly we're talking about here. To the point! I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, Mr. that's Handshakers. not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense. This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic. Like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'll be compensated for myself. I'm not sure about how it is up north, but around here we get paid for work. Tell me, Zimmer, is your wallet as big as your mouth? I'm compensated for of my course. services, right? I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Sure, I'll go looking for your android. Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. I need to know more about what exactly I'm dealing with. What is an android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Oh, uh, yes. Why would, if this android wandered off, why would he want a new face, maybe, mind and face? Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret so his situation. It is slavery, obviously. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. All right. Come on, Zimmer. What, why would an android feel guilt? Come on, Zimmer. What are you not telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, 
This particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Whatever, dude. Okay, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different, special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321? He is irreplaceable. Hmm. Tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Quagmire? Inside giggity, giggity. the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we Dude, I have an intelligence of 10. Fuck out of here. Anyways. Of course you do. Um. What do you want? So anyway, what I was gonna say was, uh, so they already had Fallout 4 planned. Uh, basically, like when this game came out, like Hello. the plan for Fallout 4 was already embedded, because he's talking about synths, a synth from Fallout 4, and uh, these are coursers, so yeah. they're they're trying to find him and like return him like escape synth and so yeah that's what they are and he's a scientist for the institution so there you go look this is a restricted area i'm tired of telling you people i it's you my heavens you look so much like him you're james's daughter aren't you what are you doing here wait how do you know you know my father have you seen him well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James... I mean, we're a baby. Me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. This isn't about me. This is about my father. Now where is he? I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. What he wants well, isn't what it is, is He's is come it? and gone already. I'm sorry. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where's this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. All right. We'll ask more about this later. Good luck finding your father. Hmm. Alright, well at any rate, we're not going to pursue that quest yet. We're gonna go oh fuck. Forgot I have to actually get out of any a building to quick area? travel. Oh, that's not where we want. Hey there. Alright. Yeah, we're not gonna pursue that quest line yet. Yeah, I just decided to grab it uh, for now, but we're gonna go back to Megaton. Hello again, America. This is John Henry Eaton, your president. All right. Quest. Uh. Scientific pursuits. We kind of skipped the Megaton shit, but we're gonna go back to Megaton and make it right. I'll probably play. I'll probably do a few quests before I end the stream, though. 
Because you, you mentioned you wanted to watch the show, so we can do that. Thirsty partner, try Moriarty's coldest drinks in the capital wasteland. Coldest drinks. I'll be dead. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, girl. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. We just met. Just holla if you need something. <laughs> nice hat, Calamity Jane. <laughs> nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now... Is there something I can help you with? Uh, let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Uh... If that bomb ever explodes, it would be doing the world a favor. Jesus, God. I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100, 100 caps. caps in it for you. Demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500 caps. Not an option, Damn. I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. My speech isn't up to par. Uh, I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you could all die. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Do not just, just ask for more money. You know, go blowing us up. All right. All right. Mind your manners now. Okay, disarm Megaton's bomb. Yeah, you need something? 25 explosive skills, so we're going to have to come move? back to that. Huh? Meantime, though, let's go on up here. Shit, I tried to do a quick. I think you can do it. Oh no, well, there's a walkway here. Hey there. Moriarty's. Hey there. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything smooth at all? Smooth skin. Ah, oh, fuck. What are you? Stuff it, ghoul, and stop looking at me. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait. You're not going to hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Are you kidding me? Shut the hell up, ghoul. I'll beat you if I feel like it. Oh, my God. I hadn't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Fuck yeah. Um, bye. Don't hit me. All I said was goodbye, yes. dude. Calm the fuck down. All right, let's see. What do you need? Actually, let's talk to you. My, my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I dear am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of pays being nice. Yes, it common does. sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map uh wait you're gonna destroy the town no no 
I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. So and I get to have the dirty... My friend. I get to have the blood on my hands. All right. Throw in an extra 500 caps and you got yourself a deal. Is that the best you... Damn it. Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. I told Sims I'd disarm. Maybe some extra caps would change my mind. Is that the best you... Damn. All right. Say I decide to help you. What's in it for me? You mean besides doing the world a favor by removing this pestilent scab of a town? Why? You'd be rewarded most handsomely. My employer is a very generous man. If it's bottle caps and luxury you're seeking, you shall have it. You shall have it. Uh, all right, Mr. Berg, I'll, you're out of your mind. Uh, Berg, there's no way I'm helping you. Oh, I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well, then. I'll take my leave, as you suggested. A traveler, eh? You better. Either start talking or get the fuck out of my face. Okay. Rude bastard. All right, let's see. Where are you? Oh, there's the sheriff. All the way at the end. He's lucky I wasn't playing the evil character when he said that to me. Wait, that's not the fucking sheriff. Oh, there he is. Hello? Good to see you're staying out of trouble. I met a man named Berg. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to he explode. Said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Well, if you ask someone else to explode the bomb, you should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. So get them. So fast. All right, I have to save here because there's something important that happens that I'm going to try you to there, prevent. Perk, explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a... <laughs> Misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Hello, Walter. Oh! Berg has been killed. You can no longer receive reward for blowing up Megaton. They're probably going to ask why I just did that. That's because he was pulling out a gun, as you can see. And he was going to kill the sheriff had I not intervened. So, kind of saved the guy's life. All right. Let's see, what should go up? 
Speech definitely needs to go up, dude. Speech is lacking. Um, explosives, I think it said 25, right? I think it did. And then small guns get a boost. Uh, intense training once more. We're gonna do another level of perception. Hey. Now I'm over encumbered again. Here, actually, Gob, 